they went back. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Why, Bob? I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on it. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Really? You're very nice. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. About what happened with Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? what? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now. Better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? When you can't refuse. I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and when a lot of us have had kids. Take her off my hands. And now Crawford's Why couldn't I go with along with? Left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? Be safe. You're coming at me with a lot here. Of course, take your time, but I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you, rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? You do that. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're just gonna leave? Yeah, I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford, and I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. Hey, sweet Lee. 
Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Grim, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Well, he's been through a lot, Grim. He's just gotten a little overwhelmed, that's all. I'm sure he'll be fine. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Uh... I'd like to, Grim, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Oh, you fool. Let's think about it where that thing was. You said it right there. Great, he's probably gonna fall asleep. He's probably tired as oh there he goes. She told her we weren't gonna go find her parents. She's upset. She's been talking to some weird fellow who says they are gonna find her parents. He said the one to talk you there. Then you fall asleep. Good time. This isn't good. This isn't good. Clementine? I mean, seriously, dude, you should have kept it, like, on your person. Take a nap, but keep it. That way she wants to show off the pickpocket. I mean, heck, you got that gun in the back of your pants. Why couldn't you stick the walkie-talkie back there, too? Clementine? Clementine! How many times does this happen? Oh no, her hat. How did that happen? No. 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 Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a I knew we couldn't trust that fuck. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I don't know what to do here. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. Even now? Especially now. You've earned that much. Damn straight. So that's settled then. 
We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. I guess Candy's gonna say no. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? There's been plenty of times when you ain't been. Because you've been on the wrong side. You're always on the. Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good what? thing. What? Because you're on your own on this one. Sheesh. What about you, Ben? I've been looking out for everyone else. Know. Whatever you best uh, can't make that decision for you man. you have to decide for yourself I think maybe it's best I stay behind I know you don't have a lot of confidence in me that's okay I understand but you've got enough to worry about with Clementine without me screwing things up guess it's just me and you guys we should go find Vernon See if he took her. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. Can't speak for this one. He might not make it to the river. Sheesh. You're still gonna take me? Even Ben? Yeah. We'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Come on, guys. Let's go. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Hello? You son of a bitch! Holy. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. my choice, dude. Why aren't you saying anything? Alright, statistics. She killed a boy in the attic. You and 25% of players... Really? Majority of people didn't? Did you lie or threaten Vernon? 
You and 58% players are rational and honest. Come on, thing with you. 53% did. Let Ben fall to the death. 53% players pulled him up. You revealed the bite to a group. You and 82%. Okay, that's... So a huge majority of people did not kill the kid in the attic. And a huge majority of people uh, revealed their bite. But it was close to half with everything else. Some people lied or threatened Vernon. And then about half uh, left Clementine behind and about half chose to let Ben die. Jeez. Alright, so that was The Walking Dead episode 4 and we're on to every corner. Next will be the fifth and final episode. Um, I don't know what the title is, but it's the fifth and final one.